हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल आई विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट द रिक्वेस्ट मॉड्यूल इनसाइड पाइथन इन ऑर्डर टू मेक एच रिक्वेस्ट टू फेच डेटा फ्रॉम ए एपीआई सो वी विल बी लुकिंग दिस मॉड्यूल इन पाइथन सो द वेरी फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू डू इज टू इंस्टॉल दिस मॉड्यूल सो जस्ट गो टू कमांड प्रॉम्प्ट एंड राइट दिस कमांड विच इज पिप इंस्टॉल रिक्वेस्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी इंस्टॉल दिस सो इफ यू यू कैन सी दैट रिक्वायरमेंट ऑलरेडी सेटिस्फाइड so now in order to use this module it is very easy first of all you need to import this so right here import request so this is a module here request here after this uh, we will make a simple request to the api github api so just make a response variable and inside this request module there is a get method which is there which is used to make a simple get request you can see that on the right hand side it sends a get request parameters that is url that you want to have here so i will provide this url that is https api dot github dot com this is my url and now we can just print out the response which is sent by the api so here we can just write response like this and now if i go to the command prompt in order to run this we can just write python pdf dot py so if i run this you will see that a 200 response will be there so 200 is a status code which is signifying that this is a successful request to the api now in order to get the re response we need to write here response dot content so basically it will return the content inside the request if i run this once again now you will see that it will get this json response now if i go back to the if i go back and type the same url inside my browser you will see the response which is get in the inside the json here you can see that the same response we are getting inside the command prompt as well if you want to get it like json you can just use the json property here json method so if you run this it will not display the json inside command prompt it will gi give you this uh, response or json because json is not displayed on command prompt and now if you want to print out the status code let's suppose status code it will be printed out 200 because it is a successful request 200 is printed out now if i make this some kind of mistake here let's suppose i change this to git2 this is not a url It, this is an invalid URL. If I again run this, you will see 404 will be printed out as a state status code. If I run this, you will see that during handling of the above exception, so the status code is there. I think this is yes status code. So there will be exception. So after this, guys, we we can just display the exception messages inside our command prompt as well so there is a module for that from request dot exceptions we need to import the http error module this is the module which is there inside the request module so what we can do here is that i can just change this to i can just remove this and now we can just have multiple urls for url in first of all i can just provide the correct url https git api dot github dot com and the second url will be incorrect let's suppose http invalid dot com put a colon this is a for loop and uh, the first thing that we will do in the inside the loop we will make a request so we can just write request dot get and we will can pass the url like this and after that we can check for the exception if any kind of exception is there uh, we can just write here except except let me just see the example full example uh, i have this code here uh, there if any kind of exception take place so we need to have yes except first of all we need to wrap this inside try try block so try like this and now we just need to move this line like this 
accept we need to have http error as error colon and then we can just print out the error message the error take place like this if no error take place then inside the else block we can say print success like this so now if I run this example on the console if I run this so the first request will be successful but the second one as you can see the URL is invalid now this exception is taking place and now it is spitting out all the exception which has occurred if I show you the first response you can see that success is printed out if I just you can see that success is printed out because that was the correct URL that we have made the request to but the second one was incorrect so that is why the exception take place and now we are printed out this error so with the help of this exception module inside request you can just print out the exceptions as well now the last thing that I need to show you is how to pass the parameters inside your uh, HTTP request. So if you want to pass any any sort of parameter inside your if you are making any kind of request query string parameters this is a example here if I copy paste so basically we are making get request to this uh, api.github.com slash search slash repositories put a comma and the second parameter is params so here this is an object inside you provide the queue queue symbol followed by colon and then you provide your parameter request plus language is equal to python and now if i print out the response response dot content so now it will be let me just run this uh, now it will you can see that this is the response that is written by the api so in order to uh, send out parameters we can have this params option and then inside this curly brackets you can just provide your query parameters that you want to send it out to your the api request so this was a simple uh, tutorial on request library in python that how to send http request to a external api in python so if you like this video then please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video